Right, hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, today we're starting the video in my dad's garage because today is another trike video. Um, the last time we were here, I think we put a load of stuff back on the engine. The engine was already in the trike when we started last time uh, and we put all this sort of ancillary bits back on. So since then, my dad has been out here. He's put the wiring on the trike um, and wired everything up. So electronically, the bike is now ready to start. Um, but there's still a few more things we need to do before we can do that. We've got the exhaust to put on is one thing. The battery needs hooking up is another thing. Um, and we need to make sure we tighten down all the bolts because so far we've only sort of like lightly tightened things just to get them in place. So we're gonna go over the whole trike and make sure that everything's tight, get the battery hooked up um, and just make sure that everything else is sound ready to start this thing. Because at the end of today, we would like to get this thing uh, started for one and then running under its own power, like moving backwards and forwards, providing we have brakes and, and the clutch works and stuff like that. So that is today's aim. Um, we're gonna see how we go. I'll film bits as we go along uh, and hopefully we have a nice productive day. So my dad ordered these dome nuts to go on the, like the front of the, well, where the radiator bolts to the engine. But he's ordered the wrong size. These are M12, these dome nuts. Um, and the thread is an M10, so he's going to have to order some different ones. That's the first hurdle of the day. Not too bad though, because that's a cosmetic thing rather than anything else. Right, so as you've just seen, the exhausts are now on. That's quite a important piece of the puzzle because obviously when we start up, we don't want it to be too loud. So now that they're on, um, my dad's just sort of tidying up a few other little bits and pieces, putting uh, like the pegs on and stuff like that. But we're getting very close to starting this thing. It's quite exciting. Um, I'm just trying to think in my head what else we really need. We need fuel, the tank needs to go on, the battery needs to go back on. Um, I mean, you just want to check that the brakes work so that if this does start to move, we can actually stop it as well. But, yeah, that's something we need to do um, kind of soon. Yeah, that hole is a little tight. Uh, we need to we we drill that big to run through there. Right then, we're getting close now to the point where we're going to start it. The next thing we're going to do is we're just going to test that the back brakes work because I think. My dad wants to get this thing rolling backwards and forwards under its own power today to make sure the clutch and stuff works. Um, but the front brakes at the minute are not on the bike. They're actually on the table. I think he's um, like rebuilding them or whatever he's doing to them. Um, so we've only got rear brakes at the minute and we haven't touched them. So in theory they should work, but we don't know if they ever did work. Um, and we're gonna check the handbrake as well, make sure that that functions. And if they work, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick the tank on it so that we have fuel. Um, stick the battery on it so that we have power um, and then I think we're going to get this thing started so we're very close to seeing this engine run for the first time on the trike which is pretty exciting. I don't know if you caught on as well but I'm wearing my overalls today, my uh, Savage Garage overalls. A lot of you are asking if I'm going to start selling these or not but I don't plan on it, this was just a birthday present. But yeah, it's a really nice day to be uh, out here working on the trike although we're indoors. Um, the weather's actually really nice, nice and sunny today, nice and warm. Right, I don't know if you just saw that, but we just pushed the trike forward and then pressed down on the uh, foot brake, the rear foot brake, and they work. We hadn't disturbed them this whole time, we haven't actually done anything to the rear brake, so there's no reason why they wouldn't work. Um, but now we know they do, that gives us a little bit of courage to get this thing started and we know we can actually stop if we uh, if we need to or when we need to. Girl, it's weird to see that going back on isn't it? Is it easy to plumb up? Is it just you haven't got to get under it? You just that one pipe is it? Uh, yeah, just this one. With, with this, that's not been, that's our test pipe. This is the oh right, well, that just goes onto there does it, onto yeah. the cabro. Oh yeah, that's handy. 
Makes the bike, the trike look bigger already with a tank on it, doesn't it? Because it is quite a big tank. Yeah. Oh, looks so high up. Yeah. Doesn't it? Mm, that looks cool. I forgot even what the seat looks like, you know, actually. Having yeah, that needs a little long. work, I think. That's all sort of... Battery is going on. I feel just excited this time as when we first started it when it wasn't even on the bike. It's been a little while, isn't it, I suppose? Do you have the key? Yes. Are you ready? In a special place? No, I'll, I'll stand back and let, let you do the honours. Okay, the time has arrived where we think we're about to attempt to start it for the first time. I'll just give you a quick rundown of what's gone down. Uh, we've double checked everything engine wise, happy with that. Uh, the tank's gone on, the fuel is obviously plumbed up, the seat is just sitting on there and we've temporarily put this foot plate back on there so that the battery can sit and that is also plumbed up. Dad's just pumped the tyres up just to make sure that they're alright and it's kind of it. It's time to turn the key and see if it's going to go. It might turn over a few times because as Dad just pointed out uh, a load of fuel came out of the carburetor but hopefully after that it will start. Go ahead when you're ready. No lights. Oh, I was touching the uh, fuses. <laughs> Yeah, good idea. Well, that's cool. that's <laughs> I don't know if you did it hot, heat up. Yeah, that's really hot. My goodness, I don't know if you just caught that, but the fuse cover's still off, and the keys were just touching it. So we're going to put the fuse cover plate on. Hopefully that hasn't done any damage. The fuse is still alright, Dragon. Sure. They look alright. So do they usually break halfway down like a normal fuse? Mm -hmm. Take two. Not backfiring, like I did before. Oh, it's close. Question is, do we want to put some coolant in before it gets? Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Yeah, we haven't got any coolant in it at the minute because we just wanted to see if it was going to run. That sounds good, doesn't it? it sounds pretty healthy. Didn't take long for it to get going. Mm. Right, we're going to stick some coolant in this then and then we can actually run it for longer, can't we then? Yeah. Exciting. <laughs> How did that feel? <laughs> that was so cool to see. Yeah, I want to see it back now. Okay. 
the same one. How are you going to take? Well, it's a video. So oh, right. yeah, I'll just like take a screen. All right, so how about that? We've both just driven it. That's the first time I've ever ridden a motorbike, like something with a clutch anyway. I've had a scooter in my time, but never never driven a bike with a clutch. But because um, it's a trike, it's like driving a car, but just the clutch with your hand, so it was quite easy, really. Um, but luckily, Dad's got a good-sized garden, so we were able to, as you see, sort of drive around and do like a little bit of a loop and come back. Um, it's so tempting that like there's a road right there you could take out on, but obviously it's not road legal at the minute. So we're not gonna do that, but... Um, my dad's happy, I'm very happy as well. It's such a big milestone to have it, not only running, but actually driving under its own power because we didn't know if the clutch worked. Um, we didn't know if like any of the rear was any good, any of the axle because it's all sort of new to us. Um, but luckily everything works and now we can power on, now that we know it functions and rides, uh, we can power on with all the other cosmetic stuff to get it um, looking the way that we want it to look. Um, which is quite exciting, but there she is residing just there. Uh, we're now going to have our lunch quickly because we feel like we've had quite a good productive morning. Um, but yeah, it's exciting times. Right, so we're now back from lunch. Um, we've had our fun now riding around on it, around the garden. Uh, we've done a few more trips off the camera. Uh, well now the plan is we want to check everything that we haven't already checked. So we know that the engine's good and we know that sort of all the running gear seems to be fine, but the whole process we've never sort of addressed the rear end like the rear axle um, slash rear brakes so we're gonna get the rear end jacked up take both the wheels off um, and just have a look at the rear brakes and assess them and make sure that they've got lots of life they seem to work when you put the brake down they seem to function um, but when we had it jacked up before the right hand side was sort of like face downwards and there was a load of oil that leaked out so we think that one of the axle seals on one side might be um, gone, so we're going to check that as well. Um, but just overall, just like giving it a, a once over and making sure that everything's all right before we go any further. They tight, are they? Mm. Yeah. I don't know if that works either. Is it not? I'm trying. Ow! Oh, that works. Yeah? Oh, you said. We got shorter. This is a bit long. Oil wheel. Proper wheel brace. Right, so we've just taken, well, attempted to take, and we've attempted to take the left wheel off. Um, we've got three of the nuts off, but the fourth one is, um, well, well, we thought it was weird anyway, because it was bigger than the other ones. And for some reason it just spins. Uh, it feels like the stud that it's bolted onto is just spinning inside the hub. Um, so we don't really know how to get it off. I'll quickly show you. These three have come off nice and easily. And this one here, for some reason, when you get a ratchet on it, will just spin and spin and spin. Um, we can't really think of any other way of getting it off. We've taken the other one off, as you've just seen. Um, my dad's going to clean up the brakes and stuff on that side. And that should be fine. But this side, we think we're going to have to cut this off somehow. Um, take a grinder to it or something. Because we can't think of any other ways to get it off. Um, so if any of you got any ideas, let me know in the comments. And hopefully we can get this wheel off. It needs to be done at some point. Right, that is going to be about it for this video. Um, I think we've done enough on the trike today for this to be sort of its own video. I can't believe we've actually 
ridden the thing. Um, since we've had it, we got it around Easter time this year. Um, obviously we haven't ridden it because the engine didn't run or anything. And we now have it to the point where it can be driven around the garden, which is absolutely insane. I'm stoked. I can tell my dad is over the moon with it. It's so good to have this thing actually rolling under its own power. Still lots to do, still lots of work to go. Um, we don't know if it's even going to be on the road this year, but we're going to hope to get it done for the winter. But yeah, good, good day on the trike. Uh, lots of momentous milestones reached today, so it's been good. Uh, so if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Trying to catch me riding dirty, trying to catch me riding.